Hello, this is Tash, and welcome back to episode 7 of Ragecraft 2 Insomnia. So today I uh, was looking through some of my uh, previous episodes and realized that, uh, you know that mausoleum-ish place? I didn't explore all of it. Uh, so I'm going to do that and then head back over to the uh, lake that was over that way. Uh, so, I believe that the uh, place I didn't explore was in a fair ways. Uh, let's see. Is it this way? Yeah, this way. Uh,. Yeah, I remember I could have gone left, right, forward, or down. And I only ever went right, apparently. Okay. Uh, and this is all fake cobblestone. Yeah. You put real cobblestone. No. Oh, hey, instant health, too. That's neat. Those ones are just instant health one. Okay, I think that way was where the wool was. So let's not get caught in that web. Potion, boots, wooden stake. Oh, arrows. I need those. I don't have enough of them. Glad I came back. I would have spent forever looking for it if I hadn't. Yeah. Let's clean out our inventory a little. Oh, hello. Are you stuck in the web? Let me ease your suffering. Okay. So I've been that way. Yeah, I've been this way, right? So that way is done. This way, however, is not. Spectral blade, some more melons, another pick, and some stone bricks. Yeah. Okay. And what's this way? This is the uh, last way I haven't explored down in here, I think. Oops. There goes a sword. It's a well sword. Yeah, I'm running out of inventory space. What do I not need? Oh, it's dropping in from above. Ow. Oh, 
you didn't even break the spawner. Okay, that's that dealt with. Oh, he blew up my staircase. Well, of course, he was standing right on it when he blew. Leather. I think that'll be useful. Uh, speed potion. I'll take that over zombie flesh for sure. Um, stone pick. I'll leave behind the melons. Or the bones. Another jagged blade. Now I'll leave behind the melons. And boots. I might as well put those on. And then just drop the gold boots. Okay. Inventory is full. This place is fully explored. I'm gonna head back to base and then uh then we're gonna head back to the uh the lake area. It's this way, right? Yeah. Which way is it? Oh, I think it's this way. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. Might as well take the opportunity right now. I'm not going to have the inventory space to harvest potatoes. But I can harvest them after I'm done clearing out my inventory. And I need to light off the top of that building. I really do. Yeah, because monsters are spawning up here. And then dropping down and attempting to murder me while I'm at home. Okay, armor. Boots. And some more leather. Weapons, wooden stakes, spectral blade. I'll keep all those swords on me, but I don't need the pick. Right. Hmm. Need more torches. Can dump off the mushroom stew, and of course the emerald. Only need two more, and then I can get the emerald block. We must be getting pretty close to the end of this area. Uh, okay. I think we're good to head out again. As soon as I harvest more potatoes. Okay, so, I think we are good to head out again. Level 60 already, wow. Nearly two-thirds of the way to 100. I remember watching uh, Zista's Let's Play of Inferno Mines, and him getting to... 100, basically just off of the spawners in Lush Ruins. <laughs> Pretty much. Okay, let's just ignore them. Oh, I need to make torches. Ow. Missed me. So 
we explore that. A lot of skeletons. They dead? Yep, they're dead. Okay. Let's head along in this direction. Get back over to where we were last time. And just investigate around here a little bit more. Uh, more coal. I think I'm going to need it. Another Enderman. I heard him. Where is he? Oh, he's in the webs. Poor him. Harvest a little bit more coal. How much have I got? 17, 18, 19. There goes that pick. 20, 21, 22, 23. And yet again, I used my good pick on coal. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31. This is good for another two stacks of torches. Cool. Might not need to have to return to base for a little while. Top off the baked potato. Just so that I'm not wasting steak. Oh. Hello. Okay. Oh, fell down a hole. Let's kill these guys. All right. This must be the other, the other side of. That little fortress we explored last time. Chest over there. Let's go investigate. Oops. Come on. Don't want to be stuck in here forever. Okay. Sword, golden apple, leather. Okay, so where are we going? Got another vantage point. Alright. So there's... I think that's birch wood. Um, that right there is probably something, and down there is probably something else. Just a guess. Just a guess. That 
I'm guessing that that's going to be the exit from the area. And this is going to be where I get the uh, brewing stand and or water bottle. It'd be fine if you blow up in the water. Go ahead. Perfectly fine with that. Ghasts. That is a ghast spawner right there. Right where my crosshairs are. Well, I guess we're going to be dealing with some ghasts. Not looking forward to that. Ghasts are just kind of evil. Alright, you are all down in the water. I'll bridge right over you. Okay, so you're down in the water now, too. Oh dear. Didn't think I was that close to it. May have increased range. Yep, here we go. I may want to keep this spawner just for the gas tears. Because regen potions. And I mean, I know I'm going to get potions, so. Because I have to get Nether Wart. Or he could just give me an awkward potion. That would be mean, though. Oh, you're putting skeleton spawners right in the middle of the water? Jeez, man, that's evil. Emerald. I knew it. I knew it was going to be an emerald. That kind of chest, I suppose. Alright, up here. spawner for me. Uh, where are those skeletons? I just heard a couple of skeletons shoot at me. forever. Yep, he just gave us an awkward potion. Now all we need to do is find a brewing stand. Yeah, I guess awkward potion is probably the best idea since 
Otherwise, the person gets potions right away. Right off the start of the map. That's not really something you want them to have, if you want it to be a hard map. And I think this is going to be pretty hard. potion, the emerald. So I think I'm going to actually go back to base and get all of the stuff that I need for the potions because I'm betting that there's going to be a brewing stand over there. Because that's the one thing we don't have. I won't lose it. And for this, I might want to set my spawn in this building. Or actually, do I? I don't think I do, because then I'd be uh, even further away from all my supplies, and unless I really want to move all of my supplies up to that building, which I don't want to do. Uh, I might be better off just leaving my spawn point where it is. <laughs> Running out of steak. Just switch to baked potatoes. I need one more emerald. Blocks and other stuff. Weapon. Um, yeah, I think we should drop that in there. Awkward potion. Blaze powder and slime ball. You know what? Let's go over there and see if we can make the potion and then come right back and grab all of our stuff. <laughs> 